Hi there, I'm Ludwig and this is SQL Bootcamp Online. In today's super short episode, I just wanted to show you how you can become a BOFH, so the bastard operator from hell, when naming your columns and naming your tables. Now, of course, this will be kind of a joke or a kind of an Easter egg that you can implement in one of your apps, for example, or, or your databases. But this is also this will also serve as an example of how important it is to keep the name convention straight and to write your code in a proper way. So let me just jump straight into example. So I do have the SQL Bootcamp database in here. And what I want to do is I want to write a code that says select, select, from, from, right? Now the question is, is this code a proper query in SQL Server? No, it's not. You can just select nothing or something from, from, whatever. Even the SQL uh, server, the, the SSMS IntelliSense will tell you that, hey, there's an incorrect syntax near this word, word select. You cannot have select Whoa, from select. <laughs> I just broke my chair. So the thing is that, uh, out of the excitement. <laughs> so you cannot do that, right? Unless you know what you're doing, because this is a proper query in here, because if I'll take a look at my tables, I do have tables called from and tables called select. So how do I tell SQL, hey, this select part, this second select in here, it is an indeed a column name, while this from is indeed a a table name. Well, all I need to do is I need to enclose those in the square brackets in order to indicate that, hey, these two reserved keywords are names of the objects in SQL Server. So if I'll run this query right now, nice, it works because I do have a table called from, I do have a column in that table called select. Now, how about asking for a select from, from, from. Well, again, it wouldn't work because this is a select, uh, is the reserved keyword, but if you enclose it from our, uh, in a uh, square brackets, then haha, <laughs> it is a perfectly good uh, query in here. Of course, you can do it the other way as well because I did create a from, uh, the select uh, table as well. So what you can do is you can say, hey, I want to select from, select from. Uh, is that it? Nope. I want to select, the column name is from. So I want to select from, from select, this way. Here we go. So again, it takes some uh, getting used to, but this uh, table name, those table names and those column names. But here we go, select from, from select. Is this a proper query? Yes, it is in my uh, case. But again, this is the Easter egg. But on the other hand, as I said before, it does serve as an example of how important it is to make sure that whenever you're using any kind of a reserved keyword that you will always enclose it in the square brackets. Otherwise, even though your object names will be uh, exactly written exactly as they are in the database, they will not work for you, all right? Now, once you learn and once you get used to enclosing all of your objects in the square brackets, your code will be way more easy, where easier to read for other people. It will be more readable, the word that we're using in the industry. So again, this was just an Easter egg for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Ludwig, this is SQL Bootcamp Online, and I will see you in the next Easter egg episode.